just what you turn Hey guys, welcome to another video. If you're new, my name is Joanna Wilson. I'm still in Turkey, um, but it is the last day. We are flying home this evening. I am doing a sit down video today, which is my firsts. So I put an Instagram questions box out and basically asked what of my firsts people want to know. And you know what? Everything that's coming so far has been so awesome. That I've already decided I'm probably gonna do more than one video on this myself. And I'm gonna do squad videos with this as well because it's really fun and interesting, I think, to hear. First, I think people would love to hear about other people's opportunities and life and different things that they've done. For the first time, I've written down 11 for me to go through on this video, but that was literally a selection and there was so, so many more, so I'm probably gonna already do another video. Also, I don't know if people can tell, I've got a little bit burnt whilst being away. My neck, for some strange reason, is just so itchy. Like, I want to rip my neck off currently. And I don't know whether it's just the combination of the heat and the sweat and the cream. Um, I did have like a t-shirt dress on yesterday, so I don't know if it, like that's rubbed on me whilst I've been like walking around, but I am literally so itchy, which is why I'm wearing this trackless top. I've been taking antihistamine, been putting hydrocortisone cream on it, and it's just still massively itchy. So yeah, that's annoying, but it's fine. First vlog, here we go then, in no particular order. When was or what was your first job? I think is a good one to start with. So my first job, I worked in my mum's hairdressers, well, the hairdressers where my mum's work, as a salon assistant. I used to make tea and coffee. I used to sweep hair. I used to wash hair. I used to answer the phone, clean and tidy, book people's appointments in, take payments, etc., etc. I started that job when I was 14 years old. So I used to work at the salon on a Thursday after school and all day Saturday. And at the time when I did that, I was paid five pounds an hour, which very, very good for my age. I work eight hours a week. Must have done something like that. I remember I used to get 40 pounds a week when I initially started. And I worked there until I was 17. So for three years, from 14 to 17, worked in a salon with my mum and loved it. Loved everyone there. Got to go on like the Christmas Dees and the parties. Got really close to all the staff. And I think it was a bit of a game changer for me in terms of my development of my communication skills and people skills and skills at making tea and coffee. So yeah, that was my first job. Next question, first country you travelled to? My mum will be watching this and probably shouting that I've got it wrong. The first, oh actually no, first holidays I remember were in 2003 and in 2003 we went to Florida. I wasn't quite five when we went to Florida and we also went to Cyprus but I'm not sure that those were the first countries that I ever went to abroad. I went to Ireland a couple of times when I was young. Um, Portugal, maybe, we went to before we were, before we went to Florida and Cyprus. But yeah, I was around three or four when I first went abroad. And Sally Wilson, if you're watching, please put in the comments what my first ever country was that I visited. Cool. First, on the same lines, holiday without your family. So first holiday on your own. This was when I was 17 and me and my best friend Catherine went to Paris together. So she's always loved and been obsessed with Paris. And for her 17th birthday, I got her a big Eiffel Tower cake. It was the two of us looking at the Eiffel Tower on this cake. And I said, for your 18th birthday, this time next year, we'll be going to see the real thing. This won't be a cake anymore. This will be real. And that's what I got for 18th. 18th birthday so we were gonna her birthday's in September we were gonna go in the November and we were actually due to go the week after the terrible shootings that happened in Paris that year so we managed to delay it um, and we went in February so I was 17 and I think we went for three nights to Paris so yeah that was my first holiday without my family what was your first word um my first word was granddad as I was six months old I it was a very very early when I started talking surprise surprise look at me now and having parents and family like I do, I don't think it was surprising to anyone that I started talking so early. But yeah, my first word was granddad. Okay, first crush. My first crush was at primary school and I was in year three and it was a guy called Callum. Callum, if you watch him. I actually saw him the other week um, when we were at the Jubilee, um, which is really funny. But yeah, my first crush was Callum in year three. So in year three, I must have been six six or seven but my first kiss then leading on from that i i guess it depends what we're defining as a kiss um i probably pecked like on the lips my boyfriend at primary school maybe so when i was like 10 but if we're talking about first like proper kiss it was actually at callum's house 
um, in year nine. He had a house party. Yeah, I had my first proper kiss there. I had my first couple of proper kisses there, actually. <laughs> Go into too much detail, but yeah, that was when I was maybe 13, 14. That house party, year nine. Cool. First drink, um, alcoholic drink. I explicitly remember drinking a WKD. I don't remember this chains my mum and dad in a really bad light but I explicitly remember drinking a WKD on my 13th birthday and I don't think I got drunk I definitely didn't get drunk by any means but I remember having a bottle of WKD on my 13th birthday my mum and dad have always been the type of parent that never like didn't allow us to do things if we were going to go to a house party or if we were going to go somewhere like they'd, they'd buy the drink for us and they'd give us the alcohol that like they knew we were having and I think they thought that was so that they knew what we were doing and um, I feel like a lot of people who parents restrict that sort of stuff it then kind of is a bit counterintuitive because they then go and get it anyway by other means and end up going crazy anyway because they've been restricted so my mum and dad were always fine with us having a drink or a couple of drinks as long as they were there they could supervise us and they could like buy it themselves and give us it and um, so I explicitly remember having an iron brew WKD on my 13th birthday I hope that doesn't get my mum and dad in trouble but yeah, that was my first drink. First serious boyfriend, which is the next one. Um, I've only ever had, no, that's a lie. I've had more than three boyfriends. But I'd say my first serious boyfriend was in year 10 at school. We were together for six months and that was pretty serious, I think. Um, so yeah, first serious boyfriend. Got together between year 10 and year 11 over the summer and then went together till like the February of the next year. And I guess defining serious as met parents, he met my parents, spent a lot of time together, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So yeah, first serious boyfriend. I was 15 years old, um, so that was six months. And then since then, didn't have a boyfriend until I was 19. After that, didn't have a boyfriend for four years, four and a half years, and that was a three and a three years, ten months relationship. So that was obviously like very, very serious boyfriend. And then um, been single for nearly a year and then now I've got what I'm hoping is a serious boyfriend <laughs> in my Ashley. This is really awkward doing videos like this on your own. <laughs> I'm sat here like smiling and blushing and there's nobody here to take the mic out of me or to bounce ideas off of or anything like that. Okay, cool, swiftly moving on. I, to be honest, we are on the um, topic of this. So, so many people asked first, when was your first kiss with Ash? And it was, I was, I just turned 19, I think. And it was maybe, yeah, so like summertime uh, between my first and second year at uni. I, if honestly, you know what we should have asked we will ask actually Ash this before he can watch this because I bet he has no idea. So it was summertime between first and second year of uni, so I was 19 and we went on a night out. There were two um, gymnasts who were over to visit from the Netherlands who were staying, I might have even been staying at Ash's house, uh, but they were training at Leeds with the boys. So on the weekend, we took them on a night out. So it was like the boy gymnasts and me and Catherine, my best friend, went out with them all. And it was a time, <laughs> it was a time in our lives when Niall didn't really drink that much. So Niall drove and he drove home early. So Niall had gone home and um, it was in a bar called Fibre and we had a big fat snog. And then Ash proceeded to beg me not to tell my brother, but little did he know, that I went straight home and woke Niall up and said, oh my God, I just got with Ash. So yeah, that was my last first kiss. And I'm gonna ask him that question before he can watch this video. Oh sh no, I can't. This video is out tonight. We'll see whether you've watched it or not. Okay, okay, we've got two left. First one is first period. And I came on my period when I was in year eight at school. And therefore I was 13 or 14. I just remember being at home. My mum had already like bought like pads, sanitary towels, because I think we were expecting it at some point in those years. And it wasn't too exciting. It wasn't too painful. It wasn't too anything. And I just went to the toilet and wiped. And lo and behold, I was having my first period um, and I, th I feel like my mum maybe wasn't in at the time and I told my dad <laughs> I'm not sure whether he can remember that either but yeah I told my dad and all was fine and it's not really that much of a drug story um, and then the last one but like I said there were tons and tons more is what was the first time that you thought this is what I want to do with my life and for me 
I remember an explicit day where we were at, we went to Niles and Gymnastics. I still had my job at Newton um, and I should have been working, so sorry, Newton. And we went to Niles and Gymnastics and we used to go on a Wednesday because Wednesday there were no classes on at all throughout the day. And basically on this particular day, we went on a Wednesday, we filmed a vlog for Niall, then we filmed a vlog for Luke, then we filmed a vlog for Ash, then we filmed a vlog for me. And it was the first day, I mean, we've done that 50 times over now, but it was the first day that we did that and we got a video for everyone and we planned what we were gonna do and we got there and we did it and we smashed it out and we sat in the sun and had lunch and then came back in and carried on doing what we were doing and it was just like, whoa, this is actually sick. Like, this is so cool. Um, and I don't wanna be sat upstairs on my laptop doing my job. I wanna be down here in the mix and doing this. Yeah, that was like the first moment I was like, yeah, this is what I wanna do. I remember that day very, very well. So yeah, those are my first 10, I think I did 11, firsts. Um, so I hope this has been insightful to everyone and really enjoyed it. I would love people to comment down below some of the things that they want to know our firsts of. What I've decided I'm going to do is I'm going to do some squad videos and we're going to do like one or two of a first and everyone's going to answer it. So the first one we're going to do, I think, is everyone's first kiss because I feel like that'll be quite a good one um, and go around and ask every single member of the squad. So if there are specific videos like that with the first that you want to see, then definitely comment it down below and let me know. Still loving the daily uploads. We are, what day is it? It's 10th of June, I believe. Eight days till my birthday. So 10th of June, we're still smashing the daily uploads. I'm still absolutely loving it. Um, and I feel like I might keep going. I feel like I might keep going. But yeah, um, so thanks for watching. 20% off your products until the end of June. That is going to stop by the way at the end of June. That's not going to keep going. So if you want to get your products, then definitely, definitely do that before the end of June. Don't know if there's anything else to say other than keep smashing it. Remember anything's possible if you just work. If anyone knows where I'm at next itching and can help it stop, then please do because it's so soft. Hi guys. Just what I should turn